What we have in this cube is niobium, and after last week's episode, you're probably wondering, can you lick it? So here we will use this other version of the periodic table again, which will tell us whether an element can be licked or not. We got four options. Sure, go for it. Maybe not the best idea. Please don't do that. And see you on the other side. Now for niobium, the answer would be, sure, go ahead. Now I would like to emphasize that it is not a smart idea to just go about and lick stuff like this, and I wouldn't even do it myself. Also, let's check this periodic table um, and what it's saying and see if there is any nuance to it. Now, a little research will show us that niobium is considered non-toxic and biocompatible. Licking it briefly won't harm you, assuming it's clean and not contaminated with other substances. Now, if you're silly enough to actually lick it, keep these things in mind. Metals can collect oil, dust or residues from handling or manufacturing. Unless it's been cleaned thoroughly, you don't know what's on the surface. Now, some niobium samples, like this one in the cube, have jagged or sharp pieces that could cut your tongue or lips. Now, even though niobium is safe, the material isn't produced or cleaned to food contact standards. Unless explicit made for that purpose, like medical grade parts. So at all times, be careful and again, I would not recommend to actually do this. 